Hey everyone, um, I hope you're all doing well. Um, so this is going to be my 15th comic book haul video. Um, a few books, mostly uh, books that I bought off of uh, whatnot, and uh, two books that I bought off of eBay um, that I'm going to show you all today. Um, I'm not going to show you all, I'm going to show you the main ones that I thought were pretty cool. Um, so what happened was, let me give you a big backstory, a little bit of a backstory. Um, so, on um, the one that uh, I bought from a couple sellers, um, but out of like the, the couple sellers, that two of them were like from mystery bags. So one of them was like a mystery slab bag, and the other one was mystery bag um, for a chance to go on an entry wheel. I mean, both were for a chance to go on an entry wheel. One was specifically for a slab, and then the other one was to go for an, an, an entry wheel um, to try to see if you can get a slab or another cool book. Um, so yeah. Um, let me show you all though um, the raw books uh, that I got from the mystery bags and uh, from eBay. Um, so just to show uh, a couple of uh, ones. So this one was actually from a one-hot seller that I just bid on regular, no mystery bag or nothing. Um, and this was Avengers um, number 227. Um, this is the second appearance of Monaco Rambo as Captain Marvel. Really cool book there. Um, then, uh, next one, let's see here. We've got also a uh, Doom Patrol, number 93. Pretty cool silver age there that I picked up there. Um, and whatnot. Um, then, um, some really cool books here. Batman, uh, Brave and the Bold, number 92, 15 cent cover. Really cool book. I love those uh, cool looking, uh, the use of these colors on Batman. Um, pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, definitely have to bid on that one. Um, then, let me show you all. Okay, so then, we got a Captain America number 132. Really cool book there with a Bucky Barnes there. Um, and then, uh, this one is a Batman of Death in the Family, number 428. Really cool book. Um, and then, so now to show you all like the really cooler books in my opinion. Um, even though I already showed a couple cool ones uh, that I thought were really cool. Um, but these were the better ones, um, for sure. Um, let me see if can get them to not get stuck with each other. There. Okay, so uh, these were books that from a mystery bag that I did, that I got on um, whatnot. Um, and these were pretty cool. So these were uh, the mystery bags of the Robs. These were the cooler ones. So this one was the Champions number one. It was really cool to get this as the first appearance of the Champions. Hercules, Ghost Rider, Iceman, etc. Black Widow there. Um, pretty cool book there to get for a mystery bag. It's like a 20 plus dollar book. So really cool there. And then I won. They had two entry wheels. Um, they had for the mystery bags. They had one for like a slab and then one for a, just a normal raw book that they had. Um, but this was what the raw book and I won the raw book and it's Marvel Super Heroes number 14. It was around, uh, I don't know, maybe $35 book in this condition. It presents really nicely. This has a few stuff that I can actually be pressed out. Uh, like there, can maybe be pressed out a bit. Um, but there's just a, a little bit of wear um, here at the corner there at the bottom um, that can't be pressed out but it's still a really nice presentable Marvel Superheroes number 14 it is a Silver Age book so one of those uh, thicker books it's 25 cent cover so yeah um, so those are the stuff that I got from whatnot that were um, raw books um, let me show you the two eBay books that I, uh, that I got and then I'll show you the slabs that I got off of whatnot. Um, so yeah. 
So we got this book that I paid thirty dollars for. It's a Fantastic Four number fifty-seven, and I paid thirty bucks because it was in really rough shape, and I'll show you why. Um, as you can see, the bottom there, top, uh, right corner, um, bottom right corner, and just really, and you know, it's got a couple creases and stuff, and a lot of color breaking uh, stuff there. But it's still such a cool cover that even in this condition, it's so cool in my opinion. Um, let me know uh, what you all think about this cover. This cover is absolutely amazing in my opinion. So yeah, I had definitely had to pick it up um, for sure. Um, especially com compared to like paying 100 bucks plus to get it in a decent shape, not even like really high grade shape. Uh, I'll definitely get this uh, for 30 bucks for that. And this one was pretty cool. This one I paid $20 plus shipping. Um, this is a Star Wars number one variant um, cover homage of uh, Tales of Suspense number 39. Pretty cool book. Got it for 20 plus shipping, and this book goes for way more than that. Um, so pretty cool there. And it's a really good condition book. So yeah. So then the last three books that I'm going to show you, are, they're all slabs. And these are pretty cool books. Um, these are... Um, all from one not two of them I got off the same seller and then one from a different seller so the one that I got the two slabs from it was a mystery slab bag so it was a chance to it was to get a mystery slab bag it had a mystery slab in it and then a chance to get a ticket in the slab uh, for a chance to get to automatically get into the the wheel entry which was like a uh, the way that he was doing it is if you get a ticket you automatically entered and he's gonna do a random pick number so there was like 10 winners in total so like top pick top number the one who would show up on top would get first dibs and then like from counting to sending order and whoever's whatever books are left you know picking and choosing picking picking off first you know first first choose pretty much it's kind of like that uh thing of whoever picks whoever is on top first picks first second third fourth fifth six etc so i was number six and i was pretty happy um, on what I was able to pick. So let me show you first what was the slab, uh, mystery slab. Um, and it was Venom number 25, wraparound cover, second printing. Really cool book in my opinion. Such an awesome, awesome book. Um, a 9.8 CGC Venom number 25 wraparound cover. Um, Donny Cates, been on fire, so uh, just a really cool book to get in a 9.8. Um, so yeah. And then that one had a ticket. And then the book that I picked uh, was number six in the in like the list. I'm going to do the random thing. The random thing, uh, whatever it's called. Um, I was number six in the, in the list. And I picked this book. And it is All-Star Batman number one in 9.8 uh, Aspen Comic Sketch Edition uh, signed by Scott Snyder. Um, sketch cover um, signature series pretty cool book signed by Scott Snyder um, you know I, I think he's pretty well known especially with that new 52 Batman run that he did um, a few years ago well a while ago um, really cool book um, this is around a hundred dollar book and from the other books that he had to pick um, this was definitely one of the better ones um, the top book that he had definitely was that uh, Strange Tales, the second appearance of uh, Doctor Strange. I forgot the issue number, but uh, that was a really cool book that, you know, I wish I would have gotten, but this one was cool enough. Um, I was pretty happy because I was actually pretty scared that someone was going to pick up this book because after the Strange Tales, to be honest, the other books were cool, but not as cool. Um, I thought this was one of the better ones. So I, I picked this book up. It's like a ninety to one hundred dollar book. Um, so yeah, um, really cool there. So yeah, and then the last book. This book was from a different whatnot seller. Um, so the thing that this whatnot seller had is he was like kind of liquidating his books. So he had it at decent prices. I wouldn't say liquidating, but pretty good prices. Um, he was doing a, a little bit of a sale on them. Um, and the book that I picked up from that seller was Young Avengers number one in a 9.2 CGC. This is the first appearance of the Young Avengers, um, and also 
pretty much why I bought this book is because it's the first appearance of Kate Bishop. Um, so pretty cool there. Um, I love the show Hawkeye. Um, so definitely once I finish watching that show, I, I've always wanted to pick up Young Avengers number one now. So and this is a book that has a little bit more room to grow. So yeah, and 9.2, not bad, near, near mint minus copy, white pages, not too bad there. It's a book from 2005, I believe. Um, so yeah, and then this seller, he had some other cool books, but I didn't want to pay because um, I already dropped 175 on his show that day um, for this book. I paid, yeah, I paid 175 for this book that I didn't mention, 175 bucks. So he started out the show and I was at from the beginning to the end of the show and he started out the show and he had this book originally at 200 and I didn't want to pay for it. Uh, I, I was waiting on what other books he had. And I thought he was just going to go down the list because he had quite a few books and I like stopped there. But then at the end of the show, he barely sold any books. He only sold like one or two. And he goes like, all right, I'm going to rerun everything that I didn't sell. He rerun everything and he reran everything and dropped the price by like crazy. So like this one was 200 to 175. So the starting bit was he dropped it down from 200 to 175 and I bid on it. And more people were joining at the same time while this book, he put it up again. And I was scared that someone was going to start bidding on it because 175 was a pretty good deal for this book. So I was very scared. So I, I bid on it, crossing my fingers till the end of the bidding that nobody bid on it. And nobody bid on it, thank God. And right when I won it, it says, oh, Nostalgia Comics won. Someone said, oh, good grab. And I said, oh, I was about to bid on it. Uh, with uh, and he, the the person wrote roll, um, and I wrote roll back. Yeah, it was a good grab. Um, so yeah, I was I was really, my, I was starting to get a bit nervous there, but thank God I picked it up. 175 bucks. Hell yeah. Plus shipping all that, it was like 190 something, but it's still a little bit under fair market value for 9.2. So pretty cool book. Pretty good price that I paid for. And the other books that I wanted to buy, but like I said, I was hesitant because uh, I paid, I dropped 175 bucks. It was a Tales of Suspense. I forgot the issue number again, but it is the second appearance of Black Widow. He dropped it literally from 450. And then when he reran again, he dropped it to 250 bucks. So that guy was definitely eager to sell his books. So definitely if I see him later on in another show, because I remember him saying at the end of the show, that he, um, he's going to rerun in his next show some of the same books that they don't sell um so if i see in his next show that he has that tales of suspense which i forget the issue number but it is the second appearance of black widow um i'm gonna i'm gonna ask him if he can even drop it from 250 to 200 bucks so yeah um and now because natasha romanoff is also like she's not gonna show up on at least this variant isn't gonna show up the one that we all know, uh, the Scarlett Johansson version. I don't think she's gonna show up again. Maybe in like cameos or like not, or like flashbacks or something. I don't know, but maybe a, a different Natasha Romanoff from like a different uh, variant universe uh, will show up. So yeah, so I think that book still has definitely some room to grow, so, but just a bit, just a bit. Um, but yeah, um, that was pretty much all the books. I mean, there was more books, but these were the main ones that I wanted to show you all. Um, the the more bigger books, uh, quote unquote, that I thought were worthy enough to show on the uh, on the video. So yeah. Um, but uh, thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. Um, I will be doing a uh, another video soon. Um, as you can see. Oh, and I, so I wanted to say thank you all for for the sixty five subscribers. Um, I, for me, it's it's a lot of uh, subscribers, in my opinion. Um, it's 65 people that are that are subscribed to me. So I, I really appreciate it. And I appreciate the views. I appreciate the likes. I appreciate the comments. I love when you all comments in the section below, you know, cool discussions and, and you know, talking to people. It's pretty cool. Um, uh, and also, what else did I want to say? So, yeah. Um, and also, I don't know if you've been seeing kind of like a trend on my channel try to at least put out at least once a video every seven to eight days so about a week one one video a week and then sometimes very rarely i put two videos in one week so for example like last week or the week before that 
Um, I put two videos in one week because I put a CBCS unboxing video and then a comic book haul video. So it was two videos in one week. Um, so yeah, that's what I'll tr I'm trying to do consistently. But you know, if something happens that I can't do it, uh, uh, I'll, I'll then postpone the video to uh, to, to to next time or something. Um, but that's what I'm trying to do. Two videos, one one video for sure a week, and maybe two videos uh, once in a while a week. So one week, one video a week, and then two videos a week every once in a while. Um, and that and the CBCS one will uh, two videos in one week will be coming up soon uh, because I have a CBCS book. I don't know if I mentioned it. So in my previous haul video, I was mentioning that I was going to show a book that was pretty big. But I didn't show it at the end because I turned it into CBCS, and it's uh, I, I dropped it off at the post office to get it to CBCS because I really want that book slapped. Um, it's a low grade. Give you all the hints. If I didn't say it in my video before, if I did, well, you all know. But if you didn't, uh, if you don't, if I didn't say anything, uh, I'll give you a little hint. It's a Spider-Man Silver Age uh, key. It's pretty. It's a mid. To have to big key in my opinion. To me personally, it's a big key. It's well known characters in the Spider Man universe. Um, it's not like a Kingpin or anything like that, or like an Electro, but it is pretty well known characters, um, for sure. It, it, they 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 are well known characters, um, in in the Spider Man world and in the Marvel world. Um, so yeah. Uh, so these were all the books, um, from this video that I want to show. Um, yeah, I'm um, pretty sure I didn't miss anything. Um, so yeah, thank you all for watching. Um, and, uh, I really appreciate it. So you all take care now. Uh, see you on the next one.